On this episode, I'm going to show you how you can mount your flat screen TV on your wall and at the same time have that nice clean look without having all these wires exposed. So make sure you stay tuned. Hey there friends, welcome to Fix This House. If you're new to the channel, consider pressing the subscribe and notification bell so you can always be in tune on DIYs, how-to videos, and product reviews that I do within this channel. First thing you want to do is you want to find the center of the wall on the roof that you're installing your TV on or whatever you want to place it. I'm using my stud finder to check all the studs and making sure and double checking everything by mark going back at it at the top of each mark. Now the easiest way to do this is you want to go and lay out the same exact measurement of your flat screen TV on the wall with masking tape. I'm going to be using this 50 to 86 inch mount so that in case in the future I want to upgrade to an 86 inch, I can always go to that route. So easiest mounting all the brackets at the back of the TV and using that template to make it easier for myself. Now take note that this is not going to be fully centered because the studs are not centered. So you want to take account of that and make sure that it's exactly at where you want it so that it's nice and stable at the same time. Since this mount does go side to side, so it doesn't really matter if I'm offset a little bit. Now I'm going to go and place it and use the, all the necessary screws that's provided. Make sure that you screw this onto the studs and make sure it is nice and tight as you can see here i'm going to be using all my force to exert all my effort to just make this nice and tight right there okay so now this is the thing that will make your installation nice and clean now you don't have to do this but if you don't have a stud finder take out the outlet cover and then check on the left or the right side and you'll see where the studs is now i'm going to be using this cable organizer kit this is a very helpful kit if you want to hide all the wires and at the same time have that power to power up your tv it comes with everything you need you could have 14 gauge wires all the plugs all the old work boxes all the necessary cables so it's a complete kit if you're interested on this same kit that i got here i'll leave all the links on the description down below check out those links including all the tools that i use so this is meant for the top part you can see at the the, the back this is where you install the old work j box and you can see that you can mount this anywhere. You don't have to look for a stud to install this. Measure out how big you want to cut its wall. This is measuring at four and a half to three and a half. I'm going to be using my jab saw to take out a piece of the drywall. So you want to be very, very careful when doing this. Make sure you take out little at a time so that you can at least relieve a little bit later on. So just take it nice and easy. Be careful you don't, you know, knock out any of that wiring if there is any wire at the back. And you're going to do the same thing at the bottom. So make sure it's nice and parallel from each other. Okay, friends? So there you have it. We knocked out both, making a nice hole right there. So we're going to be feeding that cable that's provided, that 14-gauge wire. So I don't like it how they already had it stripped. So I'm going to be cutting it with my wire cutters. And I'm just going to go and insert it to make it easier to feed it into the provided old work J-Box. Make sure... If you have enough i make at least about eight inches length feeding inside now i'm going to mount that on the bottom part the j box first then take out this the sheathing onto that 14 gauge wire and now i'm going to go and take out at least half inch out of the hot wire and the neutral wire this is the bottom part for the kit we're going to connect this to the wire with some wire nuts now if you got wago 221s or wire connectors those will be a lot easier to use rather than these provided wire nuts but these will do the trick um, just connect the hot to hot the neutral to neutral and the ground to ground and that's pretty much it you're not going to be connecting this to any live wire or anything like that so it makes you a lot more at ease and not have to, to have to worry about checking for any voltage or whatnot because you are not going to be connecting it to anything live okay so that's a good thing now once that's done test fit everything now just push it against the wall and since this is an old work j box it has those tabs where you screw it in and it should pressure fit onto the drywall it's nice and secured now we're going to take the cable that's going to be at the top portion of this and we're going to put some shepherd hooks now if you don't have wire strippers i have a perfect tool for you i just came out with this product so check out this product if you want something to work with wires great and big news for you we finally made our own merch which is this 46 in one pocket tool it has a screwdriver a wrench it has a ruler a protractor and so much more i'll list all the features right here it comes into this really cool leather case so that you can easily put it in there so it doesn't damage your wallet 
And it also comes with a second color, which is silver. Our logo laser engraved on there, so it'll never fade. Whenever you're in that emergency situation, it's always gonna be with you. So these are now available on my Fix This House website, fixthishouse.net. I'll leave the link on the description down below. If you get one of these, it will greatly help out the channel. This is a great way to help and support what we do here at Fix This House. Thank you so much for all the love and support. So stay tuned because I have more merch for Fix This House that's coming soon. Again, this is made out of really strong steel and try it out for yourself, friends. Help support the channel. Thank you so much. Let's get back to the episode. Now this is what it should look like at the back. All the connections are made to the hot, to the neutral, to the ground. And that's what it looks like from the bottom all the way to the top, nice and clean. Now all you have to do is go mount up your TV and plug it right in. Now I didn't install all the HDMI cables or auxiliary wiring just yet, just so I can show you for this video, but you could have done that much easier to feed it through if you didn't install these boxes yet. But I'm gonna show you just in case in the future, just use this electrical fish tape. This is by Klein Tools. I'll leave the link on the description if you need one of these. But as easy as that, once you feed the fish tape, just connect whatever wired. So this is a HDMI cable that's connected to the video game console that's going to be connected to the TV now. Make it a nice clean connection. Now you're going to have hidden wires and what's left is pretty much plug in the main power to the, your outlet to the one you installed. And that's pretty much it. Nice, clean, easy install. If you found this video super helpful, friends, please hit that big thumbs up, press the subscribe notification bell, and I'll see you friends on the next video. <laughs>